Hello, hello. Hello. Hello guys, how are you? Hello teacher. Oh, hello Lagiza. Good evening. Good evening. How was your day? Fine, thank you. Finally, I, I uh, ah, the, um, the, the words, I don't, I, I don't remember. Finally, I, the chorus, uh, uh, finally, because I uh, finished. You finished, you chorus. finished. Yes, 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 yes. That's fine. Yes, sir. Yes. yes, all the, I okay. have um, a certificate now. Wow, you got a diploma. Yes. Good, excellent. <laughs> Ready for the pre intermediate. Okay. <laughs> Congratulations. That's good. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, and you. Okay, good. Mauricio, did they solve the problem that you had? Mauricio Alarcón. Hi. Good night. Hello. 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 Okay, did they solve the problem that, that you had? Le resolvieron el problema. Uh, yes, yes. Okay. Sí, ya está resuelto, ya se logró este, como ya pude visualizar este el porcentaje de, 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 de trabajo y de los ejercicios realizados y también se ha emitido el, 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 el diploma. Ah, ok, perfecto. Solo por, solo por Muchas gracias, sí. Ok, perfecto. Sí, hoy me lo manda, me correspondieron de que ya, ya iban a darle seguimiento. Perfecto. Sí, gracias. Sí, yo lo, okay. lo visualicé ayer en la noche también. Excellent. Thank you. Perfecto, gracias. Okay, good. All right, people. So we have the last uh, class for today. We have, uh, let's see, some reading to, to do, right? And um, Perhaps not. Mm, this one is not either. Okay, just let me down. Mm. Okay, good. Now we can share this section of the reading. Okay, this is the last one we have. His biggest hit didn't beat him in the But he still works hard, and he still loves singing. As he said to a reporter for the newspaper USA Today, I want to do this forever. In this class, you'll develop skills in, in scanning, reading for specific information, 
and sequencing events. Ricky Martin was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico on December 24, 1971. He was always a performer. As a child, he appeared in television commercials and studied singing. At the age of 12, he joined the Latin boy band Menudo. He worked hard with them, and he became very well known. But he left the group after five years. Martin moved to New York City, but he didn't work for a year. He was very frustrated, so he moved to Mexico City and got a part on a Mexican soap opera. Soon afterward, he recorded two Spanish language albums. After this success, he moved back to the U.S. Back in the U.S., he appeared on an American soap opera and in the Broadway show Les Miserables. Then he made his first English-language album. That album was called Ricky Martin. His biggest hit, Live in La Vida Loca, was on that album. Now he's famous around the world, but he still works hard, and he still loves singing. As he said to a reporter for the newspaper USA Today, I want to do this forever. Okay. He's famous around the world, but he's still... Okay, now, uh, Larissa, I want you to read, please, this part of the reading. Then, Gabriela, you're going to read this other part, the second. Ricardo, you read this one, Ricardo Vega. Veronica Lopez, you read the fourth. Luis Canales, you read the fifth one. And Christina, okay, Christina Matias, then you read the last one. All right? Go ahead. Okay. Ricky, Ricky Martin was born in San, in San Juan, Puerto Rico on December 25, 4, uh, 1971. He was always a performer, has a child. He appeared in television commercial and study singing. Very good. Okay, next one. At the A of the of twelve, he joined the Latin boy band Menudo. He worked hard with them and he became Become very Be. well. Be. Became. Became. Be. Became. Became very well now. But he left the group after five years. Okay, good. All right, next one. Okay. Martin moved to New York City, but he didn't work for a year. He was very frustrated. Creo que así se dice. He was frustrated. Uh -huh. oh, frustrated. Uh, okay. So he moved to Mexico City and go a part of Mexican sub opera. Soon afterward, he recorded two Spain language albums. After his success, he moved back to the US. Thank you. Back in the US? He US? On, back in the US, he appeared on an American soul Opera and in the Broad Broadway, show. Broadway Les, show. Broadway show. Les Miser in December. Then E. Made is French English language album. Um, he made his first English language album. Okay, good. Uh, Luis, right? 
that album was called Ricky Martin, his biggest hit, Living Vida, Living La Vida, La Vida Loca, was on that album. Okay, very good. Then uh, Cristina, right? Cristina was the last one? Yes. Now, he's famous around the world, but he still works hard, and he still loves singing. Uh, as he said to a reporter for the newspaper USA Today, I want to do this forever. Very good. Thank you. Okay, uh, Mauricio Alarcón, read the first one. Then Godofredo, the second. Dinora Flores, the third one. Josabeth, the next one. Uh, Silvia Hernandez, you read the next one. The last two. This one can do. Okay. Okay. Okay, Mauricio. Okay, thank you. Rick Martin was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico on December 24, 1971. He was always a performer. As a child, a child, he appeared in television, commercials, and studied singing. 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 Yeah, very good. Okay, next one. At the age of 12, he joined the Latin boy band. Menu, he worked at hard white tents and he became very good now. But he left the group after five years. After five years. Okay. Uh, Martin moved to New York City, but he didn't work for a year. He was very frustrated. Frustrated? So, frustrated. So he moved to Mexico City and got a part on a Mexican soap opera. Uh, so after, afterward, he recorded two Spanish language albums. After this success, he's moving back to the U.S. Okay, good. Yes, sir. This one, this part. Back in USA, he appeared on an American soap opera and in the Broadway show, Good. Les Miserables. Then he made his first English language album. Thank you. Okay, Sylvia, the two. Okay, that album was called Ricky Martin. His biggest hit, Living La Vida Loca, was on the, that album. Right. Uh, okay, now he's found around the world, but he still works hard and he still loves singing. As he said to a reporter for the newspaper, you say today, I want to do this forever. I want to do this. Okay. Este es un ejercicio que pueden practicar ustedes en casa, right? leyendo en voz alta para los puntos de articulación y se acostumbrando a la pronunciación. Okay, so you can do this, you know, and use your cell phone to, to record your, your voice so that you can have the, the audio later and listen to you and uh, check what you have been reading. Okay, so this is you know, a tip for extra practice in your house. Okay, what else? Vocabulary questions about the uh, new words or expressions. This forever. Okay. Teacher. Yes, sir. Sí, con con respecto al 
so soon afterward, Crocus. Afterward. Uh, primero se ocupa el son afterward para decir um, poco después. Pero mi pregunta es por qué. Mm. Loves singing. As he said to a report. Listen. Where? En el tercer párrafo. Ajá, uh -huh, Then uh, he says he recorded. No, soon is like uh, no, no mucho después. Okay, so that would be this one. Soon afterward, record two. He says uh, he was very frustrated, so he moved to Mexico City and got a part on a Mexican soap opera. ¿Cuál fue la novela, Larissa? You told me yesterday. Eh, okay, he went to the Mexico I said, soon afterward. O sea, poco después, o sea, poco después, no, 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 no espero mucho, ¿va? Soon afterward, poco después, he recorded two Spanish language albums. Es más enfático, es más, más énfasis in this expression. Okay? I say, soon afterward, I, eh, suppose I, I finish my, my career, uh, let's say uh, 15 years ago or 10 years ago. Soon afterward, I, began, I began to work. Okay, así como pronto, poco después, Good. empecé a trabajar. Y se puede decir solo soon after. No, in this case, no, that's why it's more emphasis. Soon afterward. Okay. Afterwards, when, cuando ya una acción está completamente terminada. Por ejemplo, supóngase que yo le digo, mire, este, le voy a explicar esto afterward. And, uh, you can, I will explain this, but only to you afterward. After the class, when the class finishes. Okay? Because if I okay. said only, I, 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 le voy a explicar esto after, after, if I said only after, after, uh, after this exercise. Okay? After this exercise, como justo después de esto. And afterwards, when we are close, uh, finished. Okay, so okay. Okay. in this case, my emphasis, when you know, say afterward, is when you say después. Supongase que usted está en una reunión, no sé si tiene hijos o hermanos pequeños, y les llegan a interrumpir. Mira que quiero tal cosa. Afterward. Okay, después, después. Okay, so no, cuando termine, afterward, in that, in that moment, means cuando termine. You can say after I finish the meeting. Okay, I am in a meeting right now. After I finish, then we do what you want. Es como dar más explicación con el after. El afterward is more, more emphatic. Okay, so that when you say soon afterward, o sea, poco después de que había pasado todo eso, he recorded two things. Okay, that's Thank everything. You. All right. Larissa, are you there? No. I want to remember. Yes, 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 yes. So, what is the name of the soap opera where Rock, Ricky Martin was in Mexico? Mm, Alcanzar una estrella. That one, thank you. Se me había quedado con esa. Okay, <laughs> Alcanzar una estrella, that's the one. Thank you. Yes. That's when he says here, for example, he's soap opera and then uh, he was very frustrated, so he moved to Mexico, he got a part in the single soap opera, and he died, and then he began to work in all those things. Okay, now we have some questions about Ricky Martin. That one, for example, which is the correct answer? When was Ricky Martin even born? If anyone can answer. In, mm -hmm. in San Juan, Puerto Rico. When? Uh, on December. On December. On December. On December. 24. Okay. 24. On December. Good. 24. Where? Where was Martin, Rick Martin born? In, in San Juan, in Puerto, San Juan Puerto, Puerto, Puerto Rico. In San Juan, Puerto Rico. Okay. In San Juan, Puerto Rico. And then three. He was. What? 
Twenty. Twelve years old. Twelve years old. When he was twelve years old. Mm -hmm. And the next one. Mm -hmm. Why did Ricky Martin move to Mexico City? Because he has prostate. Because he, he has prostrated. He was. He was frustrated. Okay? Yes, he was frustrated. Okay, so you can see the answers. And then you can submit it. Okay, and that's basically the end. The next one is the, the final exam here. Then this is um, a listening exercise that you can. Ya todos lo hicieron, verdad? Eh, yes. Si no lo han hecho, pues remember that you. Tal vez si hay alguien que por alguna razón ha hecho este ejercicio, pues de aquí lo click y desde esta ventana. Pueden escucharlo cuantas veces quieran and then answer the question. Okay? Good. The next one here. Uh, in this one, there are some some issues, right? No tuvieron problemitas con este? Is this map? Sí, teacher. Yes, huh? Um, the department store is si vemos el mapa, right? The department store is across from the park. Pero creo que no dice así, ¿verdad? Okay, here. Number one is on Main Street. Now it says uh, it's Green Park. It's between Green Park and Green and Park. But green doesn't exist the street, right? So we have Park Street, Main Street, First Avenue, Center, Center Street, and Second Avenue. Okay, so you can see where you can find some details, right? So we have, and this one I think across from. The department store is across from the bank. The department store is across from? From what? Hello? The teacher can stand next to. Aha, uh -huh, exactly. And then across uh -huh. from it? Okay, across from the park. Across from the uh -huh. department store is the park, not the bank. Ajá, uh -huh. y, y en la otra decía next to uh -huh. the, the restaurant, entonces por eso yo me había confundido. Exacto, es que ahí está equivocado, yo no sé si fue en las oraciones o en el, la imagen que utilizaron una de las dos, no corresponde, right? Okay, because this one is the department store is next to the bank. The restaurant is The restaurant is. What is the restaurant is next to the bank. Bank. Or next. of the corner of. Uh huh. Or on the corner of the second and main. Yes. Yes. Acá dice the 
the restaurant is next to the department store. The restaurant is next to the department store. No, right? So esos son los errorcitos que creo que hay ahí. No sé, para que tomen nota. Ok, uh, another one. Sí, ahí me tocó adivinar, teacher. Ajá, uh -huh, yes. Es que está. Y la otra era, the restaurant is on the corner of Main and Green Avenue. And this Green Avenue no aparece en ningún lado. The Green Avenue teacher don't see, don't exist. No está, no existe. Uh -uh, no. Uh -huh. Por lo menos en esta. Yes, uh -huh. Estás aquí en esta parte de aquí atrás. Maybe. Yes. <laughs> Pero no, no, no se ve. Yes, uh -huh. Vamos a usar el, ¿cómo se llama? El Google Earth. Google Earth. Okay, but you see, for example, these are some probably details. Eh, you know, no van a ser much. Entonces, these are the possibilities that you have. Okay, this one, yes, right? Here you have to remember where your parents were in the US. It's a yes, no question. So in the answer, you have to use yes or no. Okay, where did you grow up? Okay, so then you can find the option with the past tense of the verb, grew up. And then we have, who was your first English teacher? Okay. My first, first English, English teacher, teacher was Mr. Sato. Mm -hmm. Here you say, my first, and they put on the E and the F, first, first. And then you have, when did you come to New York? I came. And how was your first day in the US? It was a little scary. It was a little scary. Okay. So I think this one is not really big issue. These are expressions, words that, for example, for it words, serve a noun. I had or I have. What can you have? Have long, had long. Okay. Then here you have um, play from this word. Uh -huh, where you can play. Took. What can you take from here? Uh, photos. The photos. You went. You went photos. You went picnic. You went tennis. You went to play. Swim. Swimming. 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 And so. I play. I, uh, I saw a play. I don't know. So. Um, oh, yes. I saw a play. Remember that in this case, play, play is, um, a, how do you call this? A, when you go to the theater, for example, a, Hamlet is a play. It is a movie too, right? But it's a play with real actors. A, you can also see a, The Sleeping Beauty. Uh, you can also see uh, you know, Romeo and Juliet. Okay, so these are plays, and some obras teatrales, right? That you can see in Broadway. Here in El Salvador, I guess that you can go to the National Theater, or there is another one, Centro Español, I guess. Maybe I'm gonna bet that they have some plays. Okay. Then you have the form of the bear. You have to find here which is the best complement. Okay. Did you have? Did you have? You had. Did you have? Uh huh. 
here you can see not really I studied, I study, or I studied. Remember that here you have to pay attention to the if it is past tense and the spelling, la escritura, right? So you have to make sure. Okay, so the best option is study, right? Because it's in past tense. Here, what did you? I mean, here, did you have? Kind of like that, right? Here? Did. Did. Did they do? Did they do? Mm -hmm. Past and present. And then we have? Did she, did she go? Did she get? Did she get? Present, right? Past and present. Okay, past and present. Did she get? And the last one? No, she went shopping, but she? She didn't buy. Didn't buy. Didn't buy. And then this one is reading, similar to Ricky Martin, but different topic. Home Alone. And that's it. Okay, uh, can you see this map? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, United Kingdom. Yes. Yes. Okay, well, remember that uh, today is the last class, and then uh, uh, in this page, the website. Uh, I'm gonna put it here in the chat. In the chat, there is a key de la clase. That is the link. Okay, copy that link, and you can you can access to this website when you need to reinforce or practice. Here in this page, you can find a. English verb tenses, okay, tiempo gramaticales, right? Present, present progressive, past, past progressive, present perfect, present perfect. Hay unos tiempos que no los han visto, pero los van a ver, right? Future, future simple, real, going to, progressive. And also you can see the other topics, adjectives, adverbs, Auxiliary verbs, modal verbs, okay, a plural and noun. Here in noun, you can see, for example, when to say when you use a and plural exercises. Okay, look at everything. If you look at it about grammar, writing, quieren escribir, the comma rule, cuando se usa la coma, right? Comma with numbers, si es que dice que coma, examples, eh, let's see what else. Si quieren escribir un ensayo, right? Eh, vocabulary, Meeting people, personal description. Okay, if you want to describe people, tall, small, overweight, fat, lean, young, old, uh, beautiful, pretty, Asian Alemán, Madison and Frost, handsome, sometimes, pale, I have blue eyes. I have green eyes, what do you look? Okay, yes. And all this, right? I have gray eyes, brown eyes, freckles, beard, 
Barba, right? A full beard, you know, Barba seeing abundance and mustache. Okay, and then you can go with it. Uh, exam. Okay, if you can hacer los exámenes similares a los de ayer. You can practice the past tense of the verb. Go, came, bought, have. And this is right here. Then complete the chart. Jane was tired. Jane was tired. Okay, you can practice the negative form and the question. What? Jane tired. And then here at the end, you can check the answers. Okay. But first, you practice. And then after, you check. Study tip. Learn English through, through reading, through movies. Okay, thanks uh, to DVD, watch films, English. Okay. For example, that's, that's something I wanted to ask you. Okay, nowadays, you have a lot of uh, resources in your house, correct? You have TV, you have uh, computers, uh, you have your smartphone, and then you have probably Netflix. If you don't have Netflix, you have probably Amazon Prime. If you don't have Amazon Prime, you have YouTube. If you don't have YouTube, you have uh, a DVD, the, the CDs, right? With those DVDs that we had before, those DVDs, they have the option for English, or Spanish, Okay, some subtitles, captions, oh, many things, right? What happens when you watch a movie in only in English? How do you feel? Or well, what do you do? Uh -huh, Larissa, what do you do? Just me repeat the, 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 the question. What do you do when you are watching a movie only in English? Oh. Um, I understand a little, but I understand a, a, a few words, but uh, I like it, uh, it to have a, how do you say subtitles? In the Spanish, the titles in Spanish, uh huh. Spanish, okay. But, but you can do, you know, probably what you can do is watch the movie in English and put the captions. Yes, it says English, English, uh, you are listening and reading in English. Uh, mm -hmm. it's, another, it's a tip, okay. What else? <laughs> what are your strengths? What are your fortalezas? And what are the opportunities that you see in your learning? What are your opportunities and fortalezas? What is strengths and opportunities to, to improve, to improve, to improve your English? In self test, in auto examining. Make comments, tell me. Eh, teacher, uh -huh. tal vez una fortaleza es que no tengo mala, mala pronunciación de palabras. Ok, that's good. Eh, that's pero, good. Uh -huh. pero una debilidad es que siempre se me olvidan las palabras para usarlas. Ok, excellent. All right. You see, that, that is something that yo no veo que la mayoría de ustedes tengan muchos problemas. O sea, the pronunciation, o sea, tal vez el problema es de fluidez, que es una diferencia, right? And probably you can go slowly, you can read it slowly, so no es problema de pronunciación, sino que de fluidez, y la fluidez es por la práctica. Okay? Then, uh, eh, también lo que no se usa, okay, what happens? They say, in English, they say, use it or lose it. Lo que no se usa se pierde de alguna, right? Se use it or lose it. Úselo o pierde. 
If you don't use the English, the vocabulary, what happens? Se olvida. ¿Qué pasa si usted era... Eh, you know, eh, but now you don't practice math. What happened with that ability? ¿Qué pasó con esa habilidad? ¿Mm? ¿Qué pasó con la habilidad de matemáticas si no se practica? Se olvida. Yes. Okay. Then that's what happened. That's what happened with vocabulary, right? And with English. If you don't practice, then you forget. Okay. And that's why, you know, we insist that every, uh, say every, now, for example, next week, that you won't have classes is very, very important that you, um, that you practice English. That's why, por eso les mandé el link. That's why I sent you the link. Okay, because in that uh, website, you can find a lot of exercises. And uh, the video, the video about pronunciation, okay? ¿Se recuerdan el video de los pasados? Para pronunciar el primer voz en pasado, that video is also very important. With that video and the link, you can practice a lot during the vacation, no, the vacation, right? The, the period that we don't have class. Okay, so that's why it is important to, to practice uh, in this kind of link. What else? ¿Qué más? Teacher. Uh -huh. Yo también lo que hago para más o menos sonar un poco normal a la hora de hablarlo es que me pongo a escuchar canciones que me gustan en inglés y o sea, ya sea en, en Spotify o en YouTube este, busco la letra y, y empiezo a cantarla. Exactly, right? So then this is another, yeah, that's another option, you know, uh, singing, you listen, you speak, you read, you practice vocabulary. Okay, so then there are, hay muchas, muchas habilidades envueltas en, en una cantada, right? So you can have also the, the karaoke, okay, like uh, Lee says, you have karaoke in Spotify, uh, Apple Music. Uh, visa, I think there is another application or YouTube. In the YouTube, you also have the karaoke videos and everything. So, all this practice, all these things are the one that will give you a lot of things. Okay. Uh, temor para hablar? Pena. Pena? Okay. <laughs> Why, Sylvia? Why are you shy? ¿Por qué es tímida? To speak English. Uh, okay. porque, mm -hmm. porque no hay este como fluidez o, o una pronunciación adecuada. Mm -hmm. Yeah, para remember that eh, eso es eh, como el aprender a nadar, right? Si quiere nadar, what do you have to sí. do? Hay que tirarse al agua. Tiene que mojarse. Exacto. Sí. Hay que tirarse al agua, right? Si quiere aprender inglés, tiene que cometer errores, pero practicar. Los niños, mire, de tres años, ni se les entiende lo que dicen. A los varones, más que todas las niñas, sí, de los dos ya hablan, hablan, hablan y hablan, ¿verdad? Right? Los varones son un poquito más lentos, pero cuando empiezan a hablar de tres, cuatro años, va a Si no se tiene. Pero al inicio hay eh, oraciones cortadas, mala pronunciación. Okay, ¿qué niño dice agua? A la primera. ¿Conocen alguno? No. Oye. Oh, yes. Pues todos dicen haba, baba, ah, I don't know, different words, different sounds. But no, no child, yeah, the child don't say that. I mean, all the, they don't pronounce correctly from the very beginning. Okay, so then that's the, it's the same process, that's the same process that we have. Okay, so that's a good, 
es una buena por, un buen aporte, right? Si no hay que tener pena, no hay que ser tímidos, don't worry. Ok. La siguiente participación. En inglés. Ya nadie va a querer decir inglés. Yes. Teacher. Yes, Cristina. Eh, bueno, a mí me pasa que a veces como que se me traba la lengua cuando estoy practicando la pronunciación porque me gusta leer en, en voz alta uh -huh. para practicar la pronunciación. Yes. Y a veces se me traba la lengua y me cuesta. Exactly, right? Pero es por lo mismo, es por los, lo que decía, son los puntos de articulación que nosotros tenemos. No es, uh -huh. El español es más así como de esta área de acá. Ok, pero en inglés muchos sonidos vienen de la garganta, glotales. Creo que aquel día hacíamos ejercicio de cuando vibra y no vibra. Para sí, los sí. presentes y pasados. En español, además de que en español ni le ponemos atención porque es un idioma. Y pues bien o mal lo hablamos, ¿sí? eh, Y cometemos errores. ¿sí? Todos, todos nos, nos equivocamos a veces. O incluso nuestra eh, dicción a veces también tiene deficiencias. Depende de cuánto también hablan. Pero hay gente que no le gusta hablar poco práctica también. Ok, so then, uh, but, uh, is that, Cristina, that's normal, no problem. Ok, porque las, eh, los, las articulaciones que tenemos se van acomodando a los nuevos sonidos. Right, when you say, uh, because it's not the same, uh, suppose that you read, uh, can you think? Okay. Yeah. Animals. The year of the dolphin. Okay, for example, this reading, if you say, listen to this, if you say, dolphins are very popular animals. They are considered to be intelligent and friendly. And they seem to play and smile all the time. There are almost 40 species of dolphins and watching them in their natural environment is an unforgettable experience. ¿Cómo se yo? Bien. Bien. Ok. Sí. Pero si lo dice, dolphins are very popular animals. They are considered to be intelligent and friendly. And they seem to play and smile all the time. There are almost 40 species of dolphins and watching them in their natural environment is an unforgettable experience. Have you a difference between the first and the second? Yes. <laughs> yes? Yes. In the first, no se traba la lengua. Porque uno lo está leyendo como que hablar español. Dolphins are very popular animals. They are considered to be. Pero cuando usted trata de imitar el, el acento, o sea, cuando uno ya va haciendo la, el, digamos, la, la entonación correcta, then, yes, right, you say, dolphins are very, no very, very mm -hmm. popular, popular, no popular. It's very popular, es la énfasis en la popular animal, no animal. They are considered, considered, no they are considered. Si ve, si se nos viene más de atrás, de adentro, de la parte de atrás. Entonces, eso hace la diferencia. So, but uh, I, I'm telling you, it's just about practice, okay? A lot of practice. Then it's nothing, nothing, you know, complicated. Okay? But what you do, mm -hmm. what you do, Christina, Luis, and Uh, for example, the listening to music, reading books, uh, I don't know, what other strategy, ¿Qué otro, qué otro estrategia usan para aprender? What is another one? Now listening to music, reading, ah, uh, Larissa watches the movie con subtítulos, like English, but the titles in Spanish, 
Hai tuh dulu. What else? Yo he tratado de, de seguir indicaciones con respecto a, a ver películas, tratar de ver películas en inglés sin subtítulos, que uh -huh. ya he visto, que ya he visto. Uh -huh. Entonces entiendo cuál es la trama, pero trato de entender qué es lo que están. Y algunas cosas sí siento que las capto, pero claro. otras la mayoría no. Esa es, un es una muy buena estrategia, ver películas. Que a veces nos gusta ver películas varias veces, pero que son de acción o algo que nos gustó. Y de, de, esas películas que nos gustan tanto son las que es bueno verlas en inglés. ¿Sí? En inglés. Porque ya se vieron en español, ya se sabe de qué se, más o menos se trata. Pero al verlas en inglés, uno se va dando cuenta, ah, pero hay ciertas diferencias en los diálogos, y uno poquito a poco va captando un poco más. Y el cerebro lo sacamos de la zona de confort. ¿Ok? Take the brain out of the comfort zone. This is one of the problems. Entonces estamos viendo una película en inglés, ah, vamos a la pongo en español y clic. Está a un clic de cambiarlo y ponerse en comodidad. Then, then put the remote control away. Toma el remote, control remoto lejos and watch the movie only in English. Okay? That's a good, a good tip, Mauricio. It works. Teacher. Uh -huh. En mi caso, fíjese que si alguien me habla en inglés, pero así despacio, sí lo entiendo. Esa es una. La otra, donde sí bastante me cuesta, es, por ejemplo, eh, las contracciones y lo que son eh, los verbos auxiliares. En esas dos siento que, que me quedo así bastante corto y me confundo. Entonces... No sé qué, qué me podría sugerir usted o aconsejar, ¿verdad? Porque si usted me, digamos, la lectura, yo prácticamente le entiendo un 80%. Si alguien me habla en inglés así despacio, de igual manera le entiendo un 80%. Pero si alguien me habla así prácticamente eh, normal, yo me quedo así como que, ups, y le entiendo un par de palabras porque tengo una... Eh, mi sobrino se casó con una nativa y entonces le digo yo, eh, hablemos inglés. Bueno, a ella le da risa, ¿verdad? De hecho, pues, entonces, pero cuando ella me empieza a hablar, hay algunas cosas que sí no, no, no mucho le entiendo. Entonces uh -huh. le digo yo, que me hable despacio. Pero igual a veces hay palabras que, como los dichos de nosotros, ¿verdad? Que si pote, que esto y que lo otro. Entonces ellos allá igual usan sus dichos también, pues, o a veces unen las palabras, entonces ahí como que, que yo me quedo un poco corto. Entonces no es, sé qué me puede aconsejar usted en ese, en ese aspecto. Es, eso es prácticamente lo que usted me ha dicho ella. Ya, ya. Mira, muchas veces uno, en, no, no en todos los casos, pero en muchos casos lo que usted es que uno dice, no sé si les dije al inicio a ustedes una expresión que se pone, pero me voy a ver, cuando decimos nosotros en español eso. Entonces, cuando decimos, espérame, voy a ver, estamos usando, eh, permítame, voy a ir a ver, que es la forma correcta. Pero como es nuestro idioma, nosotros lo usamos, la gente, y, y lo entendemos. Pero imagínense a una, a una persona de otra, que habla alemán, ruso, inglés, y nunca habla de español, y uno le dice, espérame, voy a ver, creen que lo entendería, porque trae, Trataría de, de decodificar qué es cada sonido y qué es cada palabra que está sonando ahí. Eso es lo que muchas veces nos sucede. Nosotros estamos, cuando, when you speak slowly, okay, speak slowly, then you, ah, ok, slowly, va decodificando, traduciendo, asimilando y comprendiendo, ok. Pero cuando dice, ok, ok, when are you going to come back to the power? Then, oh, when are you going to come back? When are you going to come back? When are you going to come back? When are you going to come back to El Salvador? Entonces, el querer decodificar cuando la persona habla rápido hace que por fin no está pensando que hable en su idioma. No. That one is, eso es con todo lo que se ha dicho acá. Dicen en su music, pero expon, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Eh, eh, we have to expose yourself, como exponerse al idioma, así como tirarse al sol en la playa, ¿verdad? Right? el bombardearse 
different to music, reading, watching movies, eh, watching videos, programs, lo que se pueda, todo lo que se tenga a la mano, que me que dar es, esa es una forma de Ahora, con las conversaciones, Mr. Nelson, don't worry. Y por el momento no las puede, gente que le, que le dificultan para hablar, don't use them. Say, for example, I did not. You can say, I did not, no, I didn't. Okay, si una de estas dos es el problema, I will, don't use how. Okay, I will. I will go. I'll go. Okay. Busque la forma más común. Mientras se va acostumbrando a las, ya las formas contractadas. Okay? ok, one more. One more, one more. Ok, you're welcome. Teacher. Yes, Christian. Eh, tengo una duda. El, módulo, el nombre del módulo siguiente sería... Pre intermedio. Pre-intermediate. Pre I think it's pre-intermediate one. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, creo que va el two y el three. And then you have intermediate. Intermediate one, two, and three. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks, yeah. teacher. Okay, people. Thank you very much. So, that's all. I hope to see you in, in a higher level, right? Later. It was a pleasure. Nice to meet you. God bless you. And you, I you. see you probably, I don't know, next month or in two months. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay, bye bye. Take care. Thank you. Have a good night. Good night. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Follow. Okay, bye bye. Bye, teacher. Good night. Good night.